Freedom of speech is one of the cornerstones of democracy. It allows for debate, disagreement and the distribution of ideas. We only accept limits to this freedom in extreme circumstances, for example the outlawing of hate speech. Recently though we have seen an ever-growing threat to freedom of speech, a process that is undermine, undermining the very foundations of our democracy. The first affront came in the form of the concentration of media ownership. In the UK we have just three companies, The Sun and Times owner News UK, Daily Mail publisher DMGT and Daily Mirror owner Trinity Mirror, controlling the vast majority of our newspapers. This narrows the narrative down and limits the information sources that underpin our democracy. But as people have come to rely increasingly on social media for their news, the propagandists have seen an opportunity. The latest revelations about the tactics deployed by the likes of Cambridge Analytica and Aggregate IQ show that the process of re reality manipulation has been turbocharged by the internet. These big data companies have harvested huge volumes of personal information to be able to target us not with legitimate, relevant news stories, but with disinformation designed to play upon our darkest fears in order to influence our behaviour and our voting patterns. Techniques honed in the context of military conflict have been unleashed on unsuspecting populations and have sown division, confusion and conflict. This is the antithesis of freedom of speech, the antithesis of democratic debate and the antithesis of the utopian vision of the internet of unlimited access to information fueling a global debate. For many online today, the distinction between fake news and genuine news is increasingly blurred and this plays only into the hands of those who wish to consolidate power. As Hannah Arendt, the theorist of Nazism said, the ideal subject of totalitarian rule is not the convinced Nazi or the convinced communist, but people for whom the distinction between fact and fiction, i.e. the reality of experience, and the distinction between true and false, that is the standards of thought, no longer exists. Knowing that we are all subject to powerful propaganda is disturbing, but it is also empowering because it signposts us to, to the action we need to take. Now more than ever, we need more controls on those who wish to reduce and limit the scope of public debate. We need to utilise our existing laws to push back against those who have treated our personal information with such disregard and used it for their sinister purposes. We need to demand a control on media ownership and support for media pluralism. And most of all, we need to celebrate and cherish genuine freedom of speech.